set up the equation for one of these problems. So um, let's say you're given this situation. A ball is thrown into the air at an initial upward velocity of 22 meters per second from a platform 1.5 meters high. And I want to fill that information into the formula. So, um, for example, let's see. I'm going to start with h equals negative 1 half. Now for g, remember g is always going to be one of two numbers. It's either going to be 32 if you're measuring in feet or 9.8 if you're measuring in meters. So in this problem, I am measuring in meters. Both of my measurements given are in meters, so I'm going to use 9.8 for my g value. And the t is like your x, so that's just going to stay a t. Plus, my velocity is 22 meters per second, so I would say 22t. Plus, that h sub 0 on the end, that's how high you're starting from, so I'm starting at 1.5. So my equation would be h equals negative 4.9 because negative 1 half times 9.8 is negative 4.9 t squared plus 22t plus 1.5. And then you could take that equation and you could graph it or you could solve it or you could do um, whatever, whatever you need to do to answer the rest of the questions that would go along with it.